In today's video, I'm going to attempt to win the Premier League in every FIFA, starting from FIFA 15. Yo, the FIFA 15 menus make me so nostalgic. Ooh, and this was when the Premier League was the Barclays Premier League. And guess what? We need to win this trophy if we want to move on to the next FIFA. All right, boys, starting a career mode on FIFA 15. For which team should we choose? Okay, I'm allowed to use any Premier League club. But here's the twist. Once I use a particular club for a FIFA, I cannot use them in any of the the future FIFAs. Yep, that means if I choose Man City for FIFA 15, we cannot use them for any of the future FIFAs. And guess what? That's exactly why I'm not choosing nope. Man City. Look at their team. It's good, but we got to save Man City for the future FIFAs for sure. And I'm thinking we got to go with Man United for FIFA 15 because things only go downhill from here for them. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And so for FIFA 15, I'm going to attempt to win the Premier League with this Man United team. I'm not going to lie. It's actually decent. We've got Van Persie and Falcao up top. Di Maria, Wayne Rooney. Okay, yeah, it, it kind of just goes downhill from there. Yo, we've got the good Fellaini on the bench. Oh, one matters. Well, I'm putting him into the team. But yeah, this Man United team, I don't know if it's good enough to win the Premier League, but we need to win it if we want to progress on to the next FIFA. Let's see how much money we've got. Where do we see that? Oh, there you go. There's our budget. 33 million for Man United. I think if we want to win the Premier League as soon as possible, we need better defenders. Yo, was Harry Maguire on the game back on FIFA? for 15. Oh, he was a 21-year-old Harry Maguire. But don't worry, guys. We're not signing him. Come on now, doll. I'm thinking, why not sign Gerard Piquet from Barcelona? He's actually played for Man United before. Oh, wow. He's going to be expensive, though. Yikes. Come on. A quality defender could really help us out. So I'm going to put in 22 million first offer. Let's just see what happens. Oh, wow. Transfer nice. offer rejected because the player is too valuable. Okay, I'm not giving up just yet, boys. We'll, we'll offer 27 million and see what happens. Wait, what? They want 47.5 million for PK. How do we get that much money? Yo, we can actually request the board for funds back on FIFA 15. How cool is that? Can I just ask the board for 20 million and just see what happens? Imagine the board actually give me. I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. We have reviewed your request, but at this moment, we do not feel that we've seen enough of you at this club to make a decision. Bro, they just rejected me in the most polite way possible. How cool is that? Yo, maybe I'll have to sell a few players to get some money. Fellaini, okay, um, you can leave. We'll sell you. Bruh. Oh, wow. Transfer talks have broken down. Brilliant. Yo, why is the game suggesting Leo Messi for me to sign? He's literally worth about 85 million. We can't afford him. Yo, Messi was 93 rated back then. Wow. Guys, after a bit of scouting, I think I found a better option than Pique. Javi Martinez. Yo, he's 85 rated and actually might be cheaper. You know, he might fit our budget. So let's try this out. 23 million for Javi Martinez. Okay, they've come back and said they're willing to do a deal at 28, which honestly doesn't seem too bad, you know? Yeah, let's just get this done. He's 85 rated, man. That's more than good enough for me. Let's go, boys. Finally, we're about to sign a new player. Okay, guys, let's get this guy on the board. I'm hoping he accepts the contract. And it looks like he has. We're about to make our first signing, Javi Martinez, 85 rated center back. And there you go. Looks like he's already at the club. Okay, we're now kind of broke. We're just 5 million left. We've done what we can, and now we just gotta see if we can win the Premier League. We're getting through the season to see if we can actually get it done and move on to the next FIFA. End of the season and we actually won the FA Cup. But that's not what matters. We want to try and win the Premier League but we finished third. Five points behind Man City. Yo, we even had the best goal difference. Yo, look at Wayne Rooney. He scored 29 goals for us. Van Persie balled out as well. Ah, this team deserved more, man. Next season, if we get more money, a couple of signings, I think we can win the Premier League. I'm actually wondering what would happen if we get fired in this video because i think that could happen you know doesn't look like we're getting fired just yet but i think if we do we just fail that fifa completely but let's not let that ever happen for season two we're rocking a budget of 37.5 million bro the budgets were like rookie numbers back then i'm looking at this team and somehow falcao just disappeared but we got chicharito up top i'm thinking i just want to put wayne rooney at striker and we will put ande herrera in the midfield honestly man we just need a world class cdm and i think we'll win the premier league Yo, Blaise Matuidi would actually be perfect for our team. He's 85 rated and valued at 15 million. And I inquired about him and it seems like we can get him for a really good price. Okay, let's try this out. Um, If we can get him for like 24. Come on, let's get Blaise 
Tatooine. Oh, they've accepted it. This seems like an absolute bargain of a deal. Getting the contract all sorted. And what a signing we're about to make. Blaze Matuidi to Man United. Okay, now this team looks actually cracked. We've got Rooney, Van Persie, Di Maria in the attack. At the back, Matuidi, Javi Martinez, also Phil Jones. But you know what? Phil Jones is actually a bit decent in this game. 80 rated centre back and only 23 years old. Let's hope he can help us win the Premier League. Because I really want to move on to FIFA 16. Okay, we're at the end of the season and looks like we're in the top two. Come on, please. Please get me that Premier League title. And yes, by just two points, we managed to win the Premier League. And that means, guys, we can now move on to the next FIFA, which is FIFA 16. And here we are, guys, on FIFA 16. Instantly, it feels like the menus have so much color, man. It just looks good. The Premier League was still called the Barclays Premier League. And let's win it to move on to the next FIFA. But yes, we're banned from using Man United for the rest of the video. Do we go with Man City? Nah, I kind of want to save them. Liverpool look terrible, man. We're not using them right now. This was their pre-VVD era. Yo, I just noticed Eden Hazard at Chelsea. We gotta do it, boys. We gotta do it. I know it might cost me using up all the big teams at the start, but come on. I've got to use the time when Hazard's at Chelsea. Because he's 89 rated, man, and this Chelsea team is actually insane. Bro, I think we should be winning the Premier League in the first season itself. Whoa, they've got a budget of 97 million. Let's just make like a crazy signing. Someone like James Rodriguez. He's 87 rated. Who remembers him from the 2014 World Cup? He scored like a crazy goal back then. Then kind of fell off after joining Madrid. But hey, he's still 87 rated and a player like him could win us the Premier League. Okay, I'm going to straight away start with 60 mil. Okay, we've straight up been rejected for that. They want 88 million. You know what? We have got the money for that. But let, let, let's be a bit stingy. Let's go 75. Also, guys, who remembers back on FIFA 16? Every time David Alaba would just join Juventus. And look at this. This was like a rig transfer that always happened. Oh, in other news, Madrid have accepted our offer. Now we just need to convince him to join us. And I think we've offered a good contract. And there you go, boys. Signing the contract. James Rodriguez to Chelsea. Oh, this Chelsea team now actually looks insane. Hazard, James, Diego Costa up top, Fabregas too. I didn't even realize that we've got Tibaut Courtois in goal. We're making our way through the season. Come on, there's no way we don't win the Premier League. What? Nah. Same points as Man United and Arsenal. On goal difference, we lost the league. Are you actually joking? That is crazy. I don't get it. How did we not win the league? Wait, where's one of our defenders? Where's John Terry? Bro, John Terry, I think, just retired. Maybe that's why we bottled it. All right, guys, season two, we got to do it, man. We got to win the Premier League and move on to the next FIFA. And I think it should be a simple process. All we need to do is get, like, another center back. And if we do that, I'm sure the likes of James and Hazard will carry us to the title. And we're Chelsea, boys. We've got the money. I'm just going to sign the best defender in the game. And I'm pretty sure that's Sergio Ramos. And he's not going to even be that expensive because he's 30. Come on, let's see if we can get Ramos for 30 million. That would be a deal. That was simple. Just like that, we're going to sign Sergio Ramos for Chelsea. We'll give him the contract he wants. And he's accepted it. We've actually just signed Sergio Ramos for Chelsea. No excuses, man. We're winning the Premier League this season. And there you go. There was no way we were not winning the Premier League this time around. 88 points. Job done. Gotta say, Hazard balled out, man. 15 goals as a left midfielder. James too did incredibly well. He's 90 rated. And Costa, I guess, banged in the goals up top. Oh, wow. I didn't even know Oscar was a part of our team. Um, yeah, that's bad management for me. But he contributed pretty well. And I guess because of him, we can now move on to FIFA 17. We're now on FIFA 17. And the Premier League is finally just the Premier League. The Barclays is gone. But you know what? I'm really struggling to decide what team I should choose. We've already done Man United. Chelsea do, which means we can't use them. And if I keep using big clubs, we're going to have to really struggle at the end. Maybe for FIFA 17, we take on a bit of a challenge. Wait a minute. Wasn't this year Leicester City won the Premier League or the season after? Yup, I think that's it. They probably have an insane team right now. And yup, let's try and win it with them. Also, guys, this was the first FIFA where they kind of added a creator manager thing. But look at how basic it was. Yo, this guy is iconic. I feel like everybody took this guy back on FIFA 17. Let's get him wearing like a suit and everything. Let's go. One thing I'll tell you, the menu seems so much more familiar now on FIFA 17. Like literally the same that we have right now. Oh, and I think we've made a decent choice of choosing Leicester City. Because we got Jamie Vardy up top and Riyad Mahrez. That's literally perfect. But of course, this team, it's going to be more of a rebuild. We're going to have to figure 
figure out a way to make good signings. Oh, but they just won the Premier League and they've got about 70 million to spend. What can we do? Yo, look at Anthony Martial back then. 82 rated, just 20 years old. Imagine if we sign him from Man United. Guys, we're managing Leicester City who are not going to win the Premier League in their first season. Bringing in youngsters is going to be the best way to win, I think. Oh, but it's not looking good. They want 47 million for Martial. Okay, they're willing to meet at 44. And we're doing it, boys. Martial to Leicester City. Now, I would say that's a pretty darn decent upgrade. But I think we could also do well with a decent right back. I'm wondering whether Jao Cancelo was decent back then. Yo, we don't even have a scout report on him. Bro, I know he can be incredible. We've seen it in real life. Can we actually sign him? No way. He's available for like 21 million. I'm gonna try and see if we can save a bit of money, but this would be crazy. Yo, that's legit insane. We're about to sign Jao Cancelo for Leicester City. He's actually only 79 rated, but I know he's got the potential. Let's sign him up. Okay, I think we've done a good job improving this team. Cancelo coming in, Martial. Now I know these guys somehow won the Premier League with Vardy and Mares. We're not expecting that. It's gonna be a bit of a grind. Let's see how we do in the first season. Wait a minute, guys. End of the season and we're actually third? Not gonna lie, I was expecting us to fall off because the other teams just are better with more money. But we held our own, finishing third, just five points off the top. Guys, if we can add, let's say, a couple of good centre-backs next season, we might be onto something. Because look at Martial, he's getting insane. Mares is, of course, unbelievable. Cancelo is getting better. Yo, we can cook with this team, come on. Oh no, I just realised that manager rating is going to be a thing. Because I think this was the first FIFA that had it. We're on 69 right now and it's flashing red. Bro, we could legit get sacked. To not get sacked, we've got to improve that defence. Oh, but our budget has kind of dropped this season. But I think we should still have a bit of money to sign a certain Virgil van Dijk, who's currently still playing for Southampton. We need to scout him and he's only valued at 13 million. Okay, guys, back then van Dijk was just 80 rated on FIFA 17. Look at him now. I think for like 20 million, we should be able to get him, although Liverpool in real life paid crazy money. But there you go. We've got ourselves VVD in FIFA 17. And I'm thinking to partner VVD, we could go for someone like Rom Agnoli, who's also 80 rated. Wait, what? He's just messaged me that he does not want to move to England. Is bro trying to just get me to pay him more money? Bro, this is not a thing in FC24 and the recent FIFAs. Did they have, like, what even? Bro, players knew what they wanted back then. Well, let's try and give him a better contract. Maybe a clean sheet bonus and let's see if he signs this. Do you know what? Fair play, Rom Agnoli. My man knew what he wanted and he's got his team. But hey, in the process, we've got our team and let's see if we can win the Premier League. Okay, that might be stretching things. End of the season and what am I seeing? Spurs won the Premier League? Yo, yo, yo. That's got to be a glitch in the matrix and we finished third which is decent but we were 23 points off spurs guys I, I really don't know how we're gonna get this team to win the premier league i think we're gonna need more funds more signings because we're kind of still missing something one thing we aren't missing is goals because martial is bringing us that and riyad mares too has just been insane we've just got to somehow try and build the team around them this is now our third season on fifa 17 and i really just want to move on to the next fifa but for that we gotta win the premier Premier League. We do have 48 million in the bank though. And the team we've built, it's severely lacking a left back. Maybe if we can bring in someone world class, there will be in a good spot. And by that, 84 rated Kurzawa would be amazing, but he's gonna wipe out our entire budget. Let's see if we can sign him though. And let's go, PSG have accepted it. This could be a signing that can help us win the Premier League. I can feel it. The team's looking so strong now, an 80 plus rated player in every position. We're now going through the Premier League season to see if we can finally win win it. End of the season and we're top of the league. But hold up, there's still one game left and look at the points table. If we lose this one game, we're probably not winning the league. Wait, wait, no. Our final game of the season against Man City? We're gonna have to somehow beat Man City to move on to the next FIFA. And Mares is injured as well. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Honestly, if we can somehow win this, it'll be crazy. Another fairy tale for Leicester with all the injuries and we did it. Anthony Martial did the impossible and we've actually won the Premier League with Leicester City. I cannot believe this. But what this does mean, we're moving on to FIFA 18. And here we go. We've loaded up FIFA 18, but I'm already struggling which Premier League club should I choose? We've already used Man United, Chelsea, as well as Leicester City. Do I go back to maybe using a big club or maybe another underdog club? But wait, I'm looking at this Arsenal team and I think it's kind of moved me. And here we go, boys. We've chosen Arsenal for FIFA 18. And I don't think we've made
made the wrong choice. 88 rated Mesut Ozil in Cam. Prime Alexis Sanchez. Got a couple of really good defenders. Pericek in goal. And yo, Arsenal have got the money about 80 million to spend. Not gonna lie, adding some firepower to our attack could be pretty helpful. Kingsley Coleman back then was just 21 years old. 79 rated. And now he can be a baller. And he just seems ridiculously cheap. And also, this was the first FIFA they add at transfer negotiations in. It's crazy how it's still the same thing that we have. And guys, after all these years, I'm a pro negotiator. We managed to sign Coleman for 20 mil. We still got 56 and what I'm about to do now is crazy. I'm pretty sure this was the year Mbappe arrived and became a future GOAT. 18 years old killing Mbappe. Overall 83. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna sign him. I'm gonna sign him for Arsenal and make him the next Thierry Henry. Bro, if we can get Mbappe, we're gonna win the Premier League. Absolutely. I might have to sacrifice Lacazette though. Maybe a straight swap deal. Lacazette for Mbappe. Is that fair? No, they instead want a left winger. Oh, I'm not giving you Alexis Sanchez. I'll give you Alex Iwobi if that's who you want. But they also want 50 million. Are we witnessing the silliest deal in football history? Iwobi plus cash for Kylian Mbappe. And it's actually worked and we only had to pay 43 million. Monaco, what are you doing? Here we go, boys. Kylian Mbappe before he became who he is now. Look, look at him. He looks like a young Mbappe. He looks like a young Mbappe. Well, of course, because he's 18. But looks like we've almost got him. And there you go, it's done. Kylian Mbappe to Arsenal. This team now is absolutely crazy. You know what? I think if we can sell Lacazette for big money too, I could maybe improve the defense a little bit or maybe even the midfield. Oh no, this was the year Lacazette was just signed. Have I just had a complete brain fart by signing Mbappe? I just wanted to sign him. Okay, maybe we can play Mbappe on the left and Lacazette up top. My excitement for Mbappe made us literally make the stupidest transfer ever because Coleman is now on the bench. Why am I behaving like Man United's board, man? I've just made the silliest transfers, it feels like. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Well, for now, all we can do is get through the Premier League season. Guys, we finished fourth? Bro, how did Leicester City finish above us and even West Ham? Arsenal do be bottling always. To be fair, I think I got super overconfident, man, because I really didn't build the team properly. Next season, I I've got to change that. We got to focus on the defense a little bit. Midfield is well. Oh, wow. I think we've got our biggest budget yet. 105 million. No excuses, boys. We got to build a Premier League winning team. For that, though, I think Mbappe is going to play up top. Coleman on the right. And I'm making the big decision to cash in on Lacazette. And Barcelona want to buy Lacazette for about 54 million. I reckon we could get a bit more money for him, like 60 million. That could really leave us with an unbelievable amount of money to spend. And I think we are going to get that money. No, Chelsea are willing to pay even more. I think I took an L by selling him to Barca. Let's see where he goes. And wow, he actually chose Chelsea over Barcelona. We'll take the money. We really do need a crazy good midfielder and it looks like Thiago is one of the highest rated players in the game. 89 overall. This is gonna be tough. I'm starting with 80 million and whoa. 114 million for Thiago is nuts. I think FIFA 18 was after the Neymar transfer to PSG and well, we can already see the effects of it. Transfer prices have just gone through the roof. Anyways, can we just get this deal done at 100 million? Because then I can probably sign a better defender as well. And uh, it's looking tough. Okay, come on. Don't be so stingy, Bayern Munich. 105 million. Let's just get this done with. There you go. Now, this is a sensible signing, boys, because Thiago is a massive upgrade to the team. Question is, who do we bring next? Now, defender was my choice, but then guys, Petacek is losing his overall so quickly. He's already down to an 83. We do have a big Maybe version of Emmy Martinez, but this is not the World Cup version. We, we can't play with him. Instead of a centre-back, I think I'm just going to go for a world-class goalkeeper. And I guess who better to get than Mark andre De Stegen. Okay, this is not a prime version of De Stegen, but he was still pretty good playing for Barcelona and everything. But yeah, this team now looks insane. We've got freaking Mbappe up top, but way better midfield as well. Improvements in our goalkeeper position. Let's get that Premier League and move on to the next FIFA. Wait, wait, wait. What on earth is going on here? We've got an even worse this season. 13 points off the top. Bro, who's been a fraud this season? Oh, Mesut Ozil's been injured. Kylian Mbappe is balling out, man. 26 goals this season. He's up to an 86. Sanchez 
did well too. Oh, I see. It's the center back position again. I guess until we get a world class center back, we ain't winning the Premier League. But bro, I don't know if I'm going to get another year to win the Prem with Arsenal. Our manager rating is in red. Yo, if we sign Rafael Varane, I don't see what could stop us from winning the Premier League and moving on to the next FIFA. Plus, Varane's contract's expiring. If his contract's expiring, we might be able to get him at literally a discount price, like 55 million. And that has actually worked. We've just finessed Real Madrid. Guys, just look at the ratings on this team. Bellerin is 86, Mustafi 86. We just signed Varane. We've got Mbappe. Let's just win the Premier League now. Guys, we've made it to the end of the season, but that manager rating does not excite me. Are we going to be stuck with FIFA 18 forever? Oh, this season Mbappe didn't even score all that many goals. Coman was our top scorer. But nah, I guess it was a team effort and Arsenal have won the Premier League. Let's go. And also, this was the first FIFA you got a cutscene for winning the Premier League. Off we go now to FIFA 19. Oh, and before we load up the next FIFA, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. We're so close to a million subscribers. So yeah, help me out. 19 was the first FIFA to have the Champions League in the game. Not only that, looks like EA also hired a graphics department and made the Premier League table look a lot more aesthetic. And I guess it's going to feel a lot better when we finish number one and move on to the next FIFA. And you know what? For FIFA 19, I'm feeling Spurs. This Spurs team was actually crazy. Harry Kane, Hyung Min Son, Adele Alley that was actually focused on football, Christian Eriksen in his prime, Vertonghen and Aldo Wiedeld. What a team! But it is Spurs that we're managing and you guys know their history. It's the history of the Tottenham. But okay, guys, we've got a budget of 100 million with Spurs here. And hear me out. What if we bring back a prime Luka Modric to Spurs? Yo, that would be crazy. He's 91 rated. I know he's 32, but it's Luka Modric. I'm really unsure if this is even feasible, but we'll start with 70 million first offer. I think they're going to kick us out. No, they aren't. I think we've got the money for this. Is 80 million going to be enough for Luka Modric? And... It is, it is, let's go. Oh, the thing is, he's only gonna sign a two-year deal with us. He'll probably decide to retire after that. But regardless, we've signed Luka Modric, but we need to make the most of him by winning the Premier League as soon as possible. End of this season. And wait, what? Man City have finished 12th? What happened with them? But we're looking good towards the top four higher than Arsenal. No way, no way, no way. We actually won the Premier League. It took us three seasons to win the Premier League with Arsenal, but like one season with with Spurs. And of course, why am I even surprised? It's because Harry Kane banged in 32 goals this season. And off we go to the next FIFA, which is, of course, FIFA 20. And in FIFA 20, Liverpool had a super team with Mo Salah, Mane, VVD at the back, Alisson in goal. This was the year I think they won the Champions League as well. And of course, we haven't used Liverpool yet, and now's the perfect time. Oh, by the way, FIFA 17 was when finally the manager creation thing was a bit more in-depth. Yeah, this guy was iconic. And you know what? Because this Liverpool team is absolutely insane, I'm just going to be simulating through this season because I know we're going to win the Premier League. Like, come on. We've got Prime, Mo Salah, and Sadio Mane on either side. VVD at the back. Alisson and goal. Nah, nah, nah. We're not losing. I told you guys, this Liverpool team is actually cracked. Unbeaten. 104 points. We've legit crushed FIFA 20. Oh, my days. Mane just scored 50 goals. I don't think any player in any FIFA in this video has scored that many. It's now time for FIFA 21. Okay, we're now on FIFA 21, but I think we're gonna have problems here. And that's because we've kind of used up almost all the top teams. Like from the top six, I think only Man City is left. And if I use them now, we're gonna really struggle. Okay, what about a club like Everton? I think they were half decent back then. A decent transfer budget of like 47 million. Well, let's take on this challenge. To move on to the next FIFA, I gotta win the Premier League with this team. And okay, Everton had Richarlison back then. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, that's our striker sword. Oh, James Rodriguez at Cam. That's not too bad either. Okay, yeah, that's where it falls apart. The midfield is really trash. Defense, nothing too exciting. Oh, we've got Alan hidden here in the bench. Let's put him in the team. Yeah, that's about it, really. This team <laughs> isn't too good. Oh, by the way, James is a right winger. And if we want to play him as a Cam, we'll have to change his position. Did that exist back then? And yes, indeed, FIFA 21 was the first FIFA. We could actually change the position of our players. It's crazy how it took them all 
almost a decade to bring this into the game. I'm looking at this team and basically what we absolutely need in the first season is like a center back. Oh, and Lucas Klosterman from RB Leipzig looks like a good shout. Okay, let's see how much he's going to cost us. I'm going to go with 30 million. I think with the budget we have, we can probably just make one really good signing. And yeah, because they've countered with 41 million. I, I don't think we can make more signings after this, but Klosterman's a kind of player who could maybe win us the Premier League in a few seasons. Do you know what? Let's just get this deal done at 40 million. Just, just get it out of the way. There you go. And so we've got Klosterman in our back line. I think it'll take a bit of a grind to get Everton to a Premier League trophy. It might take a few seasons. We've just got to be patient. I'm just really hoping FIFA 21's player growth was pretty good because we need Richarlison, Calvert-Lewin, and even our defenders to just grow in their overall. That's when I think we'll have a chance. Okay, this is bad. We're eighth in the Premier League, but this is actually not nearly as bad as our manager rating that is 47. Yo, I might actually get sacked here. And if we do, we completely fail FIFA 21. Nah, man, we can't let that happen. There's actually been some solid growth in the team as well. We just need a few more signings to hopefully get things back on track. We're now in season two and the manager rating has gone down even more. I'm hoping maybe a really good signing like bringing Declan Rice to Everton could really help things out because this this is a young Declan Rice boy. He's 22 years old, 83 rated. I think we need this. Bro, they're gonna charge 64 million. We won't be able to sign anyone else. I've tried my best with some negotiations and we've got it down to 54 and that's worked. Now that's a signing that could really help things. Guys, I also feel like we need maybe a right back and probably a sentiment too, but we've only got like 32 million. I have to do this, boys. Players like Seamus Goldman have been sold. With that money, I just signed Denzel Dumfries, who's actually pretty good, man. 82 rated. The team is actually so much better now. I don't know if we're good enough to win the Premier League, but I'm just hoping we can calm this manager rating down. Wait a minute. We only finished seventh this season? I'm telling you, boys, FIFA 21 was difficult. Like with this team finishing only seventh just feels extremely weird. But at least the good thing is we're not really at risk of getting sacked, at least for now. I guess we just got to keep improving the team and I may have got an idea. Okay, guys, basically the plan for season three is let's bring in some veterans. They will come in with higher ratings and that could help us to win the Premier League, especially like for a goalkeeper and maybe a sentiment and we do have 107 million. Maybe this can avoid getting us sacked and hopefully the title. For example, someone like David De Gea can be huge for us. He's 86 rated and his contract's expiring. Oh, look at this. We're negotiating with Solskjaer. He was the Man United boss back then. I'm trying to see how cheap we can get David De Gea for. Like 31 million. That just seems like a bargain and it's actually worked. With that, we've actually got ourselves a world-class goalkeeper. Maybe someone like Tony Cruz at Everton. It would be ridiculous, but it could win us the Premier League. We're going to spend every penny we've got left to try and bring in an 88 rated Cruz. I think we really need him. And looks like for 63 million, we might actually pull this off. And yes, sir, we've signed Tony Cruz. Okay, now there's no two ways about it. This team is genuinely good enough to win the Premier League. So let's get it done. A few moments later. Only top four? That's all we could do this season? Even after bringing in all that experience? I think it's just that Man City are honestly a bit too insane. How are we going to win the Premier League over them and move on to the next FIFA? I've just, I've just got no idea. We're now in our fourth season with Everton, boys. If we keep doing this, we're never going to be on the next FIFA. Oh, but we do have our biggest budget yet, and I do have a plan. It's an evil plan, let me just say that. Since Man City are too good, the only way we can beat them is by weakening their team and signing their players. And I guess that starts with bringing in Imeric Laporte from Man City, who's 89 rated. His contract's expiring, so we could get a good deal on him, like 75 million. That will still leave us with a lot of money, but can we get Laporte? Yes, we can. Oh, now that's a signing. The back line looks crazy. We still have 117 million. Let's weaken Man City even more. Will the money we have be enough to sign Kevin De Bruyne? That would legit win us the Premier League. No two ways about it. Ah, oh, but I think he's gonna be out of our budget. Wait a minute. We could just sign Bernardo Silva and play him in midfield. That would work. Let's go, boys. Bernardo's here do. With the signings we've just made weakening Man City, it's finally time to win the Premier League. And yes guys, finally we win the Premier League with Everton. All it took was four seasons and literally destroying Man City by signing their star players. Look at them, they dropped down to fifth. But whatever it takes, we did it. We can now finally 
can move on to FIFA 22. But we shouldn't be stuck on FIFA 22 for long because I'm choosing Man City for this FIFA. We destroyed them in the last month, so let's get them the Premier League trophy. This Man City team is actually crazy, but it was right before they signed Haaland. So I think if we just sign a good striker for this City team, we're gonna win the Premier League. Do I just go for Erling Haaland? I wanna see what his rating was back then. Oh, he was still 88 rated. Oh my. But I kinda wanna do something different. I'm thinking, why not sign Leo Messi? Play him as our center forward. And I think we'll still win the Premier League because he's 93 rated. Let's go, boys. On FIFA 22, we're about to sign Messi. We're Man City, and that's why negotiations were simple. And we're unveiling Messi with the number 10 at City. We'll need to convert him to a center forward, and he actually goes up to a 94 rating by doing that. Nah, this team is actually insane now with Messi. Let's just win the Premier League. End of the season, and Messi finished as our top scorer. De Bruyne had a crazy season. But was that enough to win the Premier League? And yes, indeed, but by just one goal. Literally, goal difference got us the Premier League. I didn't expect it to be so difficult with Man City, but we'll take it. Moving on now to the next FIFA. All right, boys, made it to FIFA 23 now. But the big problem is we don't have any of the top six Premier League clubs left. Any club we choose, it's going to be a massive challenge. Unless we choose Newcastle, who, by the way, around this period got taken over by Saudi Arabia and so they're one of the richest clubs in the game. We haven't used Newcastle yet and I think with them we can win the Premier League pretty quick. Not because their team is good because yeah we're gonna have to work a lot on this team but do 73 million for their budget. I think we're gonna have a crazy window to get this Newcastle team to be completely insane. Okay guys I think we might be able to get Neymar. I know he's 30 he'll still give us a few good seasons which hopefully should be enough to win the Premier League. I know in real life he went to South but maybe we can save him and get him to become a Premier League winner by getting him to join Newcastle. That would be crazy. We're trying to sign him for about 100 million. And I think we might have pulled it off. I think we should be able to get him for 95. And there you go. This was also the first FIFA that we, I think, got proper player reveal cutscenes. And there you go. Neymar being unveiled as a Newcastle player. Guys, we've encountered a silly glitch also. Are you seeing the bottom right? That Newcastle thing, it's now moved to, to the left side. What's happening? Why is my manager rating just, just moving around the screen? Anyways, it's fine because we just signed Furlan Mendy for the left back spot. Crazy thing is we're still left with 118 million. With the rest of the money, I'm thinking let's make another really good signing. Barella from Inter sounds amazing. And we could get him for 74 million, which is pretty cheap. With that, another top tier signing secured. I still don't think our team is anywhere near winning the Premier League in the first season, but with someone like Neymar, you just never know. We're getting through the Premier League season and let's see what Neymar can do. Okay, yeah, I don't think Neymar really did all that much to help us win the Premier League because Man City is still at the top and we finished sixth. To be fair, Neymar had a ridiculous season. I guess we're gonna have to just build a better team around it. Budget's been slightly reduced this season, but it's still pretty good and I think we need to shore up our defense this season. Season. Better center back, better goalkeeper, and we should be good. In real life, Man City signed Guardiola. We're not going to let that happen. I'm going to sign him now for Newcastle. Good boys, we've convinced Guardiola to join. We need a goalkeeper as well, and I found Manuel Neuer available for 2 million, and he's 89 rated. I'm instantly snapping him off. Manuel Neuer at Newcastle United. This is actually crazy, but it's about to get even crazier because I've almost just signed Usman Dembele. Can you imagine Neymar and Dembele on either sides? We've got Dembele, and now nah, this is wild. We've just got a super team now, oh, and I haven't even put Neuer in the starting team. Let's do that. Not gonna lie, I think we might have a chance to win the Premier League this season itself. End of the season and yes guys, we've won the Premier League on FIFA 23. Gotta say, being able to sign Neymar for Newcastle was a bit of a hack. He scored 49 goals and he straight up fired us into the next FIFA which by the way is no longer called FIFA. Yup, it's FC 24. Finally, we've made our way to FC 24. Let's do this guys. One last Premier League title that I need to win. Oh wait, but we've kind of used up a a lot of the good clubs. No Chelsea, Man City, Man United, the top six of England, we've used them all. Apart from that, we can't use Everton, Newcastle, or even Leicester City. But you know what? In real life right now, Aston Villa are absolutely balling out, and they've got a pretty high budget. You know what? The final Premier League in FC24, let's win it with them. So this is the Aston Villa team that we need to win the Premier League with, and we've got some good players. Moussa Diaby, Pau Torres at the back, Emi Martinez, a World Cup winner in goal, 
goal. I'm looking at this team and I feel if we can just sort out the fullbacks, get a couple of younger players in maybe. 75 million is our budget and I think that should be good enough to improve the fullbacks. To start with, I've just brought in Arnau Martinez. This kid is like an FC24 career mode legend, man. Probably the best right back to sign in game. We also pulled off a crazy swap deal to bring in Ben Chilwell. Now we've got the fullback sorted and we still have 30 million. I'm thinking if we can sell a few players and get some money, maybe we can even improve the striker position. And there you go. The club clear out is in full flow. Come on, guys. The budget is now 52 million. And I'm thinking with that, maybe a swap deal involving Watkins and we could get ourselves an absolutely unbelievable striker. Okay, this sounds crazy, but what if we can do a swap deal to bring in Darwin Nunes? Let's see. Let's put Ollie Watkins into the deal. Chuck in another 25 million and let's see what Liverpool say. This would be crazy. Nope. Uh, yep, they're not interested in Ollie. We're gonna have to find another striker. Can we try the same thing with Julian Alvarez? Let's put Ollie Watkins into this deal. Chuck in maybe this time about 20 million. Come on, City. Please, just help us out. And yep, it's actually worked. Julian Alvarez, it's your duty to help us complete the challenge. We need to win the Prem. He's being reunited with his international teammate, Emmy Martinez, as well. We're now getting through the first season to see if our changes had any impact. Fifth in the Premier League. You know what? I can't complain. Because that's something I think we can build on. Because look at the growth in some of our players. Moussa Diaby is now 87 rated. Pau Torres 85. Julian Alvarez went up by four ratings. New signings are now and Chilwell too. If we can make a few good signings here and there, I think we'll be very close to the Premier League title. Oh, 166 million to work with. I'm so glad we chose Aston Villa for this. And I think I'm going to use a big chunk of that to bring in a centre back like Delay. Had to spend a hundred million to get him. And to lick common and feels like a massive upgrade, but I'm not done yet. I'm right now trying to swap Yuri Tielemans for Enzo Fernandez. That would be insane for us. Oh, but it looks like they just want way too much cash. If we can get this down to 50 million plus the elements, I think it'll be a solid deal. And yes! Oh, what a signing this is. Enzo Fernandez at Villa. With Enzo coming in, can we actually win the Premier League? End of the season, Diaby and Alvarez have absolutely stepped up and I'm glad we signed Enzo to look at his stats from midfield I thought I'd check the Premier League top scorers and it's two Man United players we've got Diaby in there but this does not give me confidence for winning the Premier League to be honest just look at the growth in our team we have got the squad to win the league but have we done it come on boys this would be the 10th and final Premier League title we need can we actually pull this off please yes guys we did it and by a big margin as well from FIFA 15 all the way to FC24. We've won the Premier League title in all of them. I think I deserve a pat on my back for this because this took me literally four days to record. But hey, if you enjoyed this video and want to see me become the world's best player, click here to watch that.